So I've just reviewed the Legion 7i Gen 9, and wow, what a machine. And the good news is this laptop has two RAM slots and two SSD slots, making it more upgradable than the Legion Slim 7 from last year. Now, when you order a Legion laptop, you can configure the laptop's RAM and SSDs, but sadly, at least in the UK site, they only had an option to go up to 32 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. So tonight, we're gonna to see how far we can push this little gaming powerhouse by testing our 64 gigabyte and 96 gigabyte RAM kits and much larger capacity SSDs to help you if you want to do the same. Now, before we start any work, let's power down this laptop and rip it open. Now, having worked on many legions over the years, this has been by far the easiest to open. So once you've powered down the laptop, turn it upside down on your desk. Now, I do recommend putting it on top of a mouse mat or a soft surface so you don't scratch this beautiful lid. Then using a decent driver set, grab your PH1 bit. Now I use the iFixit Electronics Essential Kit, as it is extremely high quality, it's not expensive, and it has all the tools that I need when I'm opening these laptops. Now once we've undone all of the eight screws, we need to remove the base plate, and I used a small suction clip from the iFixit kit, which easily popped the cover off. Keep the base plate and the screws safely to the side. Now fortunately the screws are all the same length, you don't have to worry about keeping them in order. Before we start work, let's first unplug the battery. The cable has a little tab either side, and I use the finger and my spudger to gently prise it out. Now I want to start testing the RAM first, so again using my spudger, I want to lift this RAM plate off. It's held in with some little metal clips. Now to remove the existing RAM, you just pull the little clips away from the RAM sticks and the RAM chip will pop up, allowing you to slide it out. Now as I mentioned, I have a 64 gigabytes Kingston Fury 5600 megahertz kit, and a 96 gigabyte Crucial 5600 megahertz kit. Now they're both great kits, but the Fury is faster, but I wanna test them both because obviously some people will want that extra capacity. So taking your first kit, I'm gonna use my Fury here. You line up the tab in the RAM to the tab in the socket, and you slide the RAM chip in at 45 degrees. Once you've seated it into the slot, you push the RAM kit down, and you hear the arms or the little clips pop into place, locking that RAM chip down. Now once you've done that, you move to the other socket. Now it's usually the opposite way around, so flip your RAM stick, and again, match up the little cutout on the RAM stick to the socket. Slide that in at 45 degrees and pop that one in as well. Once your RAM is installed, you gently line up the metal plate and push it back down into those clips. Now if all you're doing is the RAM, plug the battery back in, put the base plate on, and we're gonna fire it up. Now one thing I do wanna mention with this laptop, when you first fire it back up after having done any work, make sure you're back on mains, because if you're on battery and you try and power it back on, it won't boot. So plug the mains back in, then power it up. Now the good news is, both the 64 gigabyte Fury kits and the 96 gigabyte Crucial kit both worked in this laptop. Sadly, both of these 64 and 96 gigabyte kits both came in at 5,200 megahertz, not the 5,600 megahertz of the stock kit. Now, although they are running at a slightly slower 5,200 megahertz, it does then decrease the CAS latencies on these RAM sticks, making them run slightly faster than they would have done at 5,600. So you're kind of getting a benefit, even though you're not getting its full speed. And that can be shown in the A to 64 benchmarks, where I benchmark the original stock kit against the 64 gigabyte Fury and the 96 gigabyte Crucial kit. And as you can see, the Fury is by far the fastest kit, and the 96 gigabyte is not too far behind. But definitely my advice is, if you want speed, go for that Fury kit. If you need that 96 gigabyte, then you only have one option. You have to go for that Crucial. They both work perfectly. I will put links down below, just in case you wanna use the same kits that I've used in this laptop. So with the RAM out of the way, the next thing I wanna do is test the actual SSDs. Now, if you watch the review, you'll notice that neither of the SSD slots had a heatsink on top of them, which may seem a bit odd. But what they've done with this Legion is put the thermal pads on the actual base plate and that then draws the heat from the SSD and takes it through the base plate to exhaust it. Now I have a one terabyte SK Hynix drive. It's a pretty fast drive, but I wanna put in eight terabytes in this laptop if I can. So taking out the one terabyte drive, I'm gonna try my SN850X four terabyte drive. Now this is a fast drive, but it does have a few chips on the back. Now when I tested it back in the slot, it worked absolutely perfectly and fitted perfectly in the primary slot. But when I move over to the secondary slot, because the leads from the Wi-Fi kit and a cable is blocking the actual base of that socket, I could not fit a double-sided chip in there. Now there are decent single-sided four terabyte drives. I've got a P3 Plus, and I'm only gonna use it for game storage anyway, so that's more than acceptable. But if you want the sort of highest performing single-sided four terabyte drive, then I do recommend 
the Samsung 990 Pro 4 terabyte. We have also done a review on that one and it is a fantastic drive, though it is at the moment slightly more pricey than the SN850X. Now with regards to this laptop, I want to do a fresh install. Now I'm going to put a guide in the description to how to do a fresh install for these laptops. I've had a few people asking me so that you can follow along for like a Dell or a Lenovo and that will help you uh, get up and running with a fresh install. But you could also clone from the existing drive to the secondary drive if you wish. We've done that in plenty of our videos before. And again, I will put a link down below to show you how to clone. But basically either way is a very, very simple process. And with this one, with a fresh install, it was very easy. It was up and running within about 20 minutes. So once you've installed the operating system, if you're back up and running with your drivers, what you will need to do if you've added a secondary drive in here is go into disk management and initialize, then format that drive. That will give you access fully to that secondary drive. And as I mentioned, I use the P3 Plus 4 terabyte, single-sided, cool running. It's not the fastest, but it's gonna be a games drive. So perfect for me. So now I have a four terabyte extra fast OS and applications drive and my slightly slower four terabyte games drive with 64 gigabytes of high-speed RAM. This thing is now an absolute beast and it's gonna last you a good few years, what with the 4070 with this amazing 28 thread CPU. Now, as I mentioned, I will put links in the description for all of the products that we've used in this video. Obviously, they're affiliate links, so anything that you do buy through those links do help benefit this channel and help us produce more content like this. And if you have any questions, if you wanna upgrade this laptop, please pop it in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching.